Now, last weekend's governorship elections in Bayosa, Imwa, and Kogi were all won by the political parties in power in the three states in question. While the drums of victory have been loud, many of those who lost are out and are adamant that the balloting process was anything but free, fair, and transparent. Ballot box snatching and sweltering violence across the three states on the day of voting have only served to consolidate widespread belief among a growing percentage of Nigerians that the political party system is almost irredeemably corrupt and would continue to mortgage rather than advance the interests of the masses. Chief Olabode George is a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party and a seasoned politician. He now joins us to appraise those off-cycle elections. Many thanks for joining us, Chief. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you. And it's a pleasure to have you as well. So let's just start with the basics. When you look at the elections that played out on November the 11th, what are you most impressed by and disappointed with? <laughs> You know, I, I, I watched the reports uh, till very late on that Saturday to Sunday morning. It was disgusting. It was shambolic. It was so depressing. And my heart bled. You know why? How, how in the, you know, with all the money, that governor, I mean, President Buhari spent to acquire modern technology. You could see the naivety, the thoughtlessness that engulfed this country. For God's sake, was that an election? You had results? Those who are accredited? There, there was a, 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 the accreditation with the final results didn't go together. You know what it reminded me of was the 1962 crisis in Western region. And I want to plead with Nigerians. How? It's about 60 something years now that we, we had that. One of the participants in those days, in 1962, in Western Region, I was in secondary school, told us that whether you debuffuma, whether you vote for us or you don't vote for us, we have 51 bank ashore. That was the beginning of the crisis that eventually led to the civil war. So why, why, what is going on? Why can't we do things right? You know, four years to manage the resources of the land for the benefit of the people. That's, that's, you, you shouldn't force yourself on the people. I, I am so heart-wrenched that I thought I, I was in another planet. I, 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 what is, look, the younger generation, all these stories, and I neck knew that there were discrepancies, and of course you've been to go to court. So wherever party is in control of any state, they now want to perpetuate the rule, their rule, on that state. So where is the choice of the people? Democracy is about people. The government of the people, for the people, by the people. And then when they tell you go to court, you are telling us now democracy is defined as the government of the judiciary for the judiciary by the judiciary. Is that democracy? Is that governance? You can't force yourself on the people. So he, he, uh, 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 right now, we are in a state of total confusion. Many people are sitting and watching and thinking Others are praying to the Almighty God. And I have decided that I will join those who are, who are praying for Nigeria. Because this is such a beautiful country. But to get the right mindset, to have the fear of God in whatever we do, that is the most sensible thing. 
you, 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 those who say you are, you are contesting, you go out, you campaign, you convince the people, and the power rests on the people. But if you force yourself, manipulating the results and, and beating your opposition to nothingness, and then you, you, you claim you, you, you are running, it's not possible. Look, 1962 crisis in, in, this, in, Ibadan, in Southwest at that time led to all the other crises in the whole country. This is absolutely shambolic. How? You, you, you want to force yourself? Okay, you have won. They will go to court. The court will also say uh, he has won. So where are we going? What are we going to do? Hmm. I, I, my, my suggested solution is simple. My suggested solution is simple. Let the opposition parties go and get themselves together. All right? There were mistakes. They would discuss the mistakes they made. All these arrogance on one side or the other, we should bury them. We should sit down, configure what and what are the rules. We should first of all show example to the electorate that we are ready and we can manage the country better. If you do that, all this shenanigan that we saw last Saturday, that's, 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 it's so, I, I felt, I felt, I, I, I should disappear into another planet. Okay, Chief uh, Bode George. It was. Uh, thank you, thank you for that. Now, now, off of the ah. backdrop of this review that you've given of this process, and just to use your word that you described as shambolic, uh, I'm curious as to what your sentiment is yes. regarding the victory of Governor Doya Diri in Bayelsa State, which was a victory for the People's Democratic Party. Uh, do you feel that it, it you, you know, what's your take on, on that victory? You know, when, when I'm doing my analysis, it's, it, it doesn't matter party A or party B or party C. There were crises. There were problems also in Bayesa. So that's why I, I, I concluded and said, oh, if you are the one in power, if party A is in power in state A, it means you just roll your tanks out. Was was it was it free and fair? I'm talking generally about the perception of, of some of us who have who who had been in the military, who had been in politics, and why are we driving the nation in this direction? So, so does this mean you feel oh, that Doya totally Diri didn't rejectable. earn his victory? D does this mean you feel that well, Doya Diri didn't earn what, his victory and that it wasn't the will of the people for him to be, the, the, you to need, be replaced you know, as governor? Uh, no. uh, you see, well, look, what we saw, they were crises. I saw one man was so beaten he was stuck naked like a jailbird, arguing and uh, that he, he was carrying ammunition. And car you think he was free? They are also shouting, the APC there are shouting that, look, it was rigged. They didn't, you know, in some local governments, the same trouble, the same problem. What is going on? Why are we like this? Just to allow the system to work. We have refused. It means we are completely surrounded by evil thoughts. The devil has taken over this country. Whether Diri or this or that, they, they, big problem all over the place. Big problem. So once they give you the power, you can, you know, you do whatever you want. Because it's in my party, doesn't mean that everything went seamless. No. They had problems there. We must now sit down. The elders must not just give up and sit at home and think it is nothing. Because the future of this younger generation is at stake. Let us get a system. Let us get it right. I was in secondary school in 1962. That's about 60 something years ago now, 63 years ago. And then the same crisis, 
of election, uh, the, this electoral process is what we are still fighting on in 2023. When are we ever going to get decent? This is a nation that God gave so much from the swampy forest to the savannah regions in the north, there is no part of this country that the almighty God did not give one resource or the other that they can survive on. It is the management, the attitude of the people. The, the, if, it's not, if they are not bringing tribalism, it will be religious uh, 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 separation. And f you abandon the real issue at stake. It's so painful. It is painful. <clears throat> what do we want? Where are we going? Well, Chief George, I, 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 your frustrations are, are clear and um, it's, it's unfortunate, but it, you've yeah. expressed it. But you, I want to go to what you mentioned yeah, earlier so, in terms of solutions. You did say that the opposition yeah. party should get themselves together. You noted that there were mistakes that were yeah. made and that they need to f configure and show oh, an yeah. example to the electorate. This um, is reminiscent of what we yes. heard about, heard from our correspondents about the, how things played out in Imo State, saying intra-party conflict led to, a lot, led to the opposition parties losing. I'm wondering what role you might see yourself playing in, in terms of bringing the opposition parties together, since this is so, the solution that you are preferring? Yeah, you know, for me, uh, at my age, there's a limit to my running around. But I thank the Almighty God that I see have my brain still functioning. We must go back and reorganize ourselves clean out the audience table. Let us get back to the constitution of the party. Everybody to bury the hatchet. We tell ourselves truth to power and reconfigure the parties. Where was Atiku from? Is in PDP? What about Kwankwaso? Is in PDP? What about Obi? PDP. It's time to come back and let us revisit the Constitution as, as written by the Founding Fathers. We deviated from it so and became a divided house. And a divided house will always be a defeated house. We will meet, forget our personal ambition, you know, let us get the, the, the base, what did we do that was not right on all sides and everybody? Forget your personal ambition. Let's get back to the way we, we started it so we can avoid these same mistakes in the future. I, I, what we can do now, you go to the, you <laughs> are going to court. I've told you, what else do you expect will come from the judiciary? What do you expect will come? But let everybody, if you lose that state, get back to your party, go and do a post mortem analysis and prepare yourselves. You note those areas that you, 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 you didn't improve and you improve on them and prove to the electorate there is one major issue that has to be done by the government and that is the procedure from INEC, the INEC has to be revisited. If there is need for it to fire some of them who misbehaved, because the INEC, they got results already written before they came to the uh, uh, voting centers. I mean, what kind of what kind of nonsense is that? Can't we do something right? The image we are projecting to the extra, to the foreign countries, it's, it's, it is terrible, very rejectable. It's, it, 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 has, it is so deep into my mind that I have to control my, my nerves. Why? What are we looking for? In four years, no, no individual can be perpetual leader. 
you contribute your own, you, you, you move from there to another period, another period. But this one step forward, 10 steps back, is not helping Nigeria. It is not helping us. You want to be leader by, by, by force, you go there, you manipulate you, 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 the, the results, you become an interloper, and the system that we paid so much money to acquire is disregarded. What is going on? Let us put God first, whether you are a Muslim or a traditionalist or a, a Christian. Let's have the fear of God in us. I, 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 it's so painful. I hope my party, we will meet and tell ourselves some serious home truths. Serious home truths in the interest of the younger generations coming. We can't continue like this. I was in secondary school in 1962. All right? Now, you know what my age is, almost 80. Now, uh, we are still doing the same thing. The same thing that led to wet here in Western region, that led to uh, uh, all sorts of uh, uh, rioting and killing and maiming, the Agbekoyas. That's, that's exactly what happened. And we still are on that trench in behavior. We've learned nothing. Now, Chief what kind of country? George, uh, if I may just interject, while we're speaking about history repeating itself, uh, earlier you spoke of a call, and you have been speaking yeah. along the lines of uh, a, a united opposition, which echoes the sentiment of the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku, uh, who mentioned this yesterday as well, a call for opposition parties to come and unite themselves to avert what is fast becoming a one-party system. Now, my question to you is that, it's a similar process that gave rise to the APC. Now, in history repeating itself, mm. are we not digging ourselves into the same hole over and over again by preferring the same solutions to similar problems time and time again? No, you know, when, before we went to elections, we had some problems. Some of us explained cajoled and, and, and tried to convince it didn't work. Now we went to this battle like a divided house. And a divided house will always be a defeated house. Now, where did OB come from? Wasn't it PDP? Where did the uh, uh, Kwan Kwaso come from? Wasn't it PDP? Where did Atiku come from? Wasn't it PDP? So if you look at the figures given to them, the three of them, who will be in the villa now? So let us now decide, and we will decide, by the grace of the Almighty God and the powers that, that he used to create this country. We move together, we sit, remove the differences, sort things out so we can be one and get back to where we were so that we will be able to give a solid opposition and keep those in government on their toes. That's what we have now. There's nothing we can do. The judiciary has already selected whatever they wanted to do, in all sides, on all sides. But we will go back, and I have that strong belief in me, that if we go back, respect ourselves, respect the rules that we are working on, it will be well with, 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 with this country. We don't need to, to fight them. We pray. They are there now. Look at, now it's time for governance. Look at the state of the country. Look at the economic situation. Look at the infrastructure, the, the infrastructure uh, uh, sector, the agri sector, all sectors. Chief George? I, I, I wasn't surprised when the, yeah, the current president said, oh, uh, we met a lot of bad breath in government. Well, so we all have to work together and make it survive. Indeed, Chief. Now, as we, <clears throat> as we begin to round up with you, of course, you've painted the realities of the situation yes. in the country. 
can you tell us what can be yeah. done in the interim? While the opposition might get, be getting its act together, what should be done during this time to make sure that things don't get from bad to much worse? In a minute, please. Right. No, okay. What they need to do, he has appointed all his ministers, he has drawn all the policies and things. What our contribution as opposition is that we, we monitor their policies and we must be honest with us. It's not a matter of because you are opposition, you must oppose. Where they are doing well, we will congratulate them. But where they are failing, we will also say it. That's why I said very constructive, meaningful opposition. It's not a matter of because you don't belong to the same you can't see something good in them. Whatever they are doing, and we see that this will lead to a very dangerous situation, we must be bold enough. That's the essence we are now in the next four years. To make sure we tell them, we tell the public, and we will marshal out our own points. And before we can get to that one, we need to tidy up our own homes so that uh, anybody thinking it will be a one-party state in Nigeria is, is dreaming. It can never be. Mm. On that very profound note, Chief Bode George, we thank you so much for your time, uh, as always, here on Arise News. Thank you so much.